Chohan Freight Forwarders Limited, the trucking company responsible for the overpass strike in Delta on Highway 99 in December, has officially been issued a notice of cancellation from the province. That's a very, very serious consequence when they cancel an operating certificate. Transportation Minister Rob Fleming says the decision was made in the interest of safety and hopes it sends a clear message to operators that crashes like this need to stop. This was Chohan's sixth overpass crash in just two years. For everybody else in the industry, what it does is it once again says, look, operate safely, pay attention to what you're doing, talk to your customers, make sure your employees have the ability to make those decisions and hold their hands up and make the right decision at the right time. A lawyer representing Chohan Group has previously told City News that the company plans to fight the cancellation in court and that the company has been losing upwards of one million dollars a week and it's more than 60 drivers have not had income. It is unfortunate however um, there it continues to be a shortage of qualified drivers in the industry so I would suspect that the drivers that are doing a good job and have a good record aren't going to have much trouble finding someplace else to work. In a statement Natasha Chohan the company's safety director director says at no point during the CVSE's investigation into the December 28th crash did the government suggest what the company could have done differently. And due to the quote procedural delays targeting Chohan, they're left with no choice but to take legal actions. I'm not surprised to see the province going this far. I think it's consistent with trends that we've seen in the province now to come down very harsh on unsafe driving conduct. And there's good reason for that. Um, it costs a lot of taxpayer money every year. Uh, to deal with the outcomes of bad driving. Kyla Lee, a defense lawyer in Vancouver, says it would be very difficult for Chohan to start another trucking company under a different name. You have to register for an NSC carrier profile, so the National Safety Council carrier profile. And through doing that, you have to provide your driver's license information and they check for infractions and things like that. So they would easily identify that these are the same people with an already suspended license. The cancellation was issued by the CVSE's independent director following changes to BC's laws that allow for more enforcement of suspensions. In Aldergrove, Cecilia Hua, City News.